gave bananas the right to end up in a grilled cheese sandwich? Hi, I'm Beryl and the theme for today's video is grilled cheese. I'm very excited. The big ghost over here is actually made by the artist of the day, Colin Miller. I found his work while looking for a new artist for my Patreon artist club and I love the ghosts in the woods. It reminds me actually of one of my favorite movies called A Ghost Story, highly recommend. I'm very excited to share his stuff. These are the prints that are going out this month through my Patreon. The link is in the description. Okay, we have five grilled cheese sandwiches today and it's such a cold day today that I've decided that this is what my day is. My day is just going to be eating grilled cheeses. So let's begin. My name is Justin. I've grown up in the Chicago suburbs, and today I want to talk to you about a apple cinnamon honey grilled cheese sandwich. This sandwich has a lot going on with it, but I had a lot of fun making it. How you start with this grilled cheese sandwich is you're gonna cook the apple slices in butter with a little bit of salt, olive oil, and cayenne, and cinnamon. And once you do that, you're gonna do the standard grilled cheese procedure. You're gonna put a layer of apples, layer of the cheeses, and then I put some hot honey, or any honey will do, with some lemon juice. Brown it on both sides of the pan, and I actually threw in a couple of garlic cloves into the oil, so you can get a little bit of a garlic oil. After that, I put a lid on, lower the heat so it can steam, and then once I take it out, I rub the garlic cloves on the bread. So you have like a really garlicky bread. This grilled cheese is good because it's cinnamony, it's lemony, it's hot, spicy, and sweet. And uh, it also has an apple in it. All right, thank you. Okay, starting with Justin's apple pie version, I guess, of a grilled cheese sandwich. I don't know if you guys know this, but apple pie and cheddar cheese is a common pairing in the US, so this kind of does make sense. Hot. Oh my God. Well, that's heavenly. Mm -mm. I can taste the garlic on the bread. That is, honestly, that's the hack of the century. If you're gonna take anything away from this video, it's about putting a clove of garlic in the pan while you're making grilled cheese, letting it get soft, and then rubbing it on the top because holy moly guacamole. I think that my like gut reaction when I'm making a grilled cheese is laziness and it's not necessarily to stew apples, but it was really fast to do that and it this is elevated. This is gorgeous. This deserves a prize. Justin, this is, I'm very impressed. <laughs> this is gonna be a tough act to follow, but we've gotta continue. My name is Jovana and I live in Novi Sad, Serbia. The grilled cheese sandwich that I recommend for you to try is a cheesy one with baby spinach and hot honey. To make the sandwich you will take two slices of bread, spread the cream cheese on both slices, in one slice add baby spinach, in the other slice add the shredded and mental cheese, and then you will take honey and chili flakes, combine them and drizzle that on the cheese side. After that you will take both slices and combine them, add them to the preheated oven for about five to eight minutes or until it's golden and after that you can enjoy, enjoy the cheese sandwich. I wanted to spice up a regular grilled cheese and I really like the combination of cheese and honey and also I'm a sucker for baby spinach so I put everywhere. I think it's worth trying because who doesn't like a cheesy, crunchy, sweet sandwich? I mean I know I do. Okay, uh, grilled cheese sandwich from Serbia. Love that we have hot honey again. That's funny, kind of, right? Honey funny. I love warm cream cheese, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be delicious. Mmm. My one thing I will say is, I have respect for whole wheat bread. I just don't think that whole wheat bread is the best when it comes to grilled cheese. I really like white bread better, but that's a personal thing. 
I did the classic spinach mistake where I thought I used a lot, but then once it heated up and cooked down, there's like no spinach in this anymore. So I probably could have done a bit more spinach. It does give it an air of health. You're like, oh, I'm having spinach in my cream cheese, cheese, grilled cheese sandwich. I know I was supposed to put this in my oven, but we're having gas line issues again and my oven is out of commission. So <laughs> all countertop stuff all day. I think the hot honey cream cheese combo might be, I mean, it's really, mm. <laughs> I love hot honey. This one's pretty good. Props for the usage of healthy greens in a grilled cheese. Um, the cream cheese is my favorite part of it. We're gonna take a quick moment and talk about the sponsor for today's video, Vessi. Vessi sells waterproof sneakers. Not just water resistant, like honestly, waterproof. Do you like my demonstration? <laughs> I feel like when it comes to things that have a lot of function, you typically have to go with function over fashion, but actually I think that their shoe designs are very cute. I got this pair of women's weekend sneakers in oak brown and like, I actually think that they're quite cute. The fun thing about New York City is you never know when you will step in a puddle or get sprayed on by a hose of somebody hosing down the sidewalks. <laughs> but other than that, I also actually love hiking in these sneakers because they offer great foot support and, you know, they're waterproof. So if the ground is damp, even if it's muddy, your socks are staying dry. And that's a bit of a flex, especially when you're hiking with somebody who's wearing like legit hiking shoes and their socks are wet and yours aren't. Rudget. <laughs> They're made from something called Dymatex, so it doesn't feel like a waterproof shoe. They're sustainably made, and they're 100% vegan, and honestly, they're super comfortable. So if you're interested, I have a code. It will give you $25 off a pair. The code is my name, Beryl, and the link is in the description. Okay, let's continue with the sandwiches. My name is Andrew. So I am based in Chennai, in Tamil Nadu in India. And the grilled cheese sandwich that I recommend is called the Triple C Sandwich, which basically is cheese, chicken, and chips. You take a slice of uh, brioche, you put Colby Jack and cheddar, then uh, shred tandoori chicken, and you layer it on top. And then you layer it with the, ch uh, with the chips on top. Uh, I would mostly prefer uh, salmon cream, cream and onion. Then you put the last slice of bread on top. I would mostly prefer this to be done in a griller because in, in a toaster you would have to flip it so there's a possibility that the chips may fall off. This is something that was actually brought about my brother or created by my brother. So we were just hungry one late night and we figured out that we needed something to eat. So we went out, we scavenged the uh, refrigerator and we figured out that we had cheese, chips and chicken. So why don't we make a uh, sandwich out of it? Just try it out and hopefully you love it. Thank you. Okay, this is Andrew's grilled cheese from India, which honestly is something that I think my husband would also make. He loves putting chips on sandwiches. I didn't do tandoori chicken, I just did like a grilled chicken, but I think it's close enough. Mm -hmm. Pretty hearty. I can taste the chips, but they're not, um, they're not crunchy anymore. Which makes sense. I mean, there's a lot of Sorry. Which makes sense. There's a lot of stuff in here to remove the crunch factor, but you are getting the flavor. I kind of, I kind of really want some Maggie Hot and Sweet with this. Hold on. Okay, Mwah, baby. If you're new here and you don't know about Maggie Hot and Sweet, it's the best condiment. It is hot and it is sweet and it's like ketchup, but 10,000 times better. Dip, dip, dip. Okay. Mm. I also feel like it's an Indian condiment. It's an Indian sandwich. It's on brand. I feel like putting potato chips on a sandwich is this unspoken universal thing that we all love, even if we don't say it. Like I, I know even the other day I was like, oh, like my favorite sandwich is turkey, cheddar, lettuce, tomato, pickle, and mayo. But what I didn't include is that I like to put potato chips on it too. 
just makes them better. Okay. So final takeaway for this sandwich is chips on your grilled cheese is a plus. Hi, my name is Kara. I live in beautiful Italy and I'm originally from California in the United States. The grilled cheese sandwich recipe that I wanna share with you today is for a kimchi panino. So how you make it, put the butter on the bread and some garlic on the bread as well. Put some brown sugar in the kimchi and cook it down a little bit and assemble together like a sandwich. And if you have a panini press, this would be a great time to use it. Squish that sandwich down. Um, so it's thin and kind of crispy. I first came up with this recipe when I was feeling a bit homesick. Coming from a Korean American household in the United States, I thought, well, how can I feel comfort all in one package? And this is how. I took the classic American grilled cheese, added some kimchi, and when I was here in Italy, I thought, why would I just grill this in a pan when I could do it in a panini press? I really hope you try it out and enjoy. Bye. Okay, yes, it is another day. It was too much cheese. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't do it. <laughs> but this is the kimchi's cheese panini. The brown sugar, I'm very interested to see what that will do to the kimchi. I love kimchi cheese toast. It's one of my favorites. I mean, first of all, the garlic bread is very good. The brown sugar is super interesting because kimchi in general has this spicy tanginess to it. And when you cook it with the brown sugar, it really mellows it all out and makes it kind of tangy and sweet. It's very, very good. I use Colby Jack cheese. Like there was only so much cheese that I really wanted to buy for this episode because then I would just have like an insane amount of cheese in my refrigerator. I think the Colby Jack is nice, but I kind of might like mozzarella cheese better with kimchi. Mm. I mean, yeah, hot kimchi is just really good. One piece of advice I would say is that if you're gonna make this, the kimchi does need to be cut up pretty small. Otherwise you're gonna end up with these like huge leaves of kimchi. I did a okay job. I probably could have cut it up a little smaller. Mm. This is tough. Like I know I don't normally rate the sandwiches, but the apple one and the kimchi one are, I might declare a winner in this episode. We have one sandwich left. Hi guys, my name is Annika and I'm from Saxony-Anhalt in Germany and today I want to share my grandma's recipe for toast with banana with you. So um, for that you take one slice of toast and spread some butter on it. Then you take about half of a banana and cut it into pieces and spread them on the toast. You can also use some ham. Uh, I skip the ham because I'm vegetarian and instead I use some salt. You cover everything with a lot of cheese. I prefer Gouda but you can use anyone you like or you have. Then you put the toast in the oven and bake it until the cheese, the edges of the cheese are golden brown. Um, in my own home I have no oven so I grill it as a sandwich, I put a second slice of toast on it and yeah. And in the end you cover everything with some sprinkles of paprika powder. My grandma used to make this toast whenever we had family dinner. It is also known as red rare bit. Normally it's only with cheese but my grandma used to make it with banana. So yes, I hope you enjoy. I just feel like, who gave bananas the right to end up in a grilled cheese sandwich? I've, I sometimes have found like doing this channel that fruits have ended up in places that I just never expected to find them. File this under unexpected places you find bananas. Wait, it's not bad. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm very confused. Let me talk through my feelings right now. The smoked paprika and the salt are actually doing a lot of work right now to balance out the sweetness of the banana. I feel like I'm first tasting salt and smoked paprika and then like underneath the banana is giving this like warm, meaty, semi-sweetness. I... I'm not feeling like, oh my gosh, like I've been I've been sleeping on putting bananas in all my sandwiches. However, I'm also, you know, at the same time feeling like maybe I should be uh, putting bananas in sandwiches. I would like somebody else to try this and tell me what you think because I, it, it, it works. It doesn't not work. And that's like as far as I can get. <laughs> I know I don't normally do this, like pick favorites. However, that apple grilled cheese sandwich, just try it. Honestly, just try it. And I will see you all in my next video.